Coogan Clash, it's Eiffel TV in association with MGM Marbella. Do you know what that is? MGM Marbella. No, what's that? Because you're a Yank, you might yeah, know what that is. Yeah, you know I'm a Yank. Right, you know where Marbella is? It, no. You've never heard of Marbella? Never! Ever! Look, man, I'm what's from the States. You? Look, I don't know anything outside of the States, man. I'm an idiot. What is the matter with you? Marbella is in Spain. Oh! Yes, I do know about that. Right. Yeah. I heard of it. So, I just never been there. It's like, back. Yo. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're I'm telling you. Because he goes, see, I know what he, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> hey, listen, as long as I'm protected. You know, I just do this. It makes <laughs> Let him punch you in the stomach, go on. Let me punch you. Let him punch you, go on. No, me? No, 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 no you ain't punching me. Let me punch you. Let me punch you. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah you hold the camera, let me punch you. Why do you want to punch me? Go on, let me hold the camera. I'll hold it. Here, want me to hold the camera? No, 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 I don't want you to hold the camera. I'll hold it. Actually, we're trying to do a serious interview, yeah? <laughs> um, yeah. Anyway, Marbella, you want to get yourself out there? Yeah, I Top definitely Top up the old suntan, Hawaiian tropic, you know what I'm talking about, brother. Right? Look at me. Oh, no. Look at me, I, I, I can use a tan. You can. I'm getting a little white, you know what I mean? Hey, look, just put right some, there. just cut some, some things in there. Yeah, you know, I might be a part of the. Oh, oh, yeah. I just seen this. Just... I just seen this thing on <laughs> that though. It was funny. This little thing on the internet is funny as heck. But anyway, go ahead. All right, man. Let's let's get back uh, down. We, 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 okay, so you're coaching the under yeah. under twelves here. Yeah. How they doing? Uh, they're doing great. I mean, yeah. To be honest, they they're a lot better than me. What are yeah. they playing? They're playing football. Oh, football. Yeah. You're not saying soccer. No, nah, I'm not playing. For the American soccer, but we playing. For, you know, they playing football. Look, now they got. Now somebody got to climb through the fence and get the ball. Hey, do you do it? I, oh no, see, no, they already got somebody. Oh, okay, yeah. See, they already got somebody. You know, never mind. But yeah, they're doing great. You know, they're really good young players. Could have the next uh, great uh, uh, football great. You were about to say soccer then, weren't you? Nah, I wasn't. Every time you say soccer, I'm smack you upside the head. I <laughs> know. I didn't say it though. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, fighting this week. Yeah. Nascimento. Yeah. People will know Nascimento from Prize Fighter. Yeah. He fought uh, in the heavyweight. So, um, when was this announced? Oh, I think it was last, sometimes last week. Yeah. Uh, we were we had an eye on him. We were thinking about getting him before, and um, it's just a good a good fight for me at this stage. He's a he's a he's a, he's a good puncher. Tough tough Brazilian guy. Like most like most of the Brazilian guys that come out are they're really rough and and. Uh, they're not coming to lose. They're coming to, to win, obviously, and that's what we need. We need some, we need some quality work, and I think that's what we're going to get out of this guy. Mm, it'll be interesting to see. Yes, sir. I want to see you fighting British heavyweights. British heavyweights? Which, which, no. Who you want to see, man? No, no. I know what you're trying no, to. No, I know no, what you're no. getting I'm, at. Not, I'm not hinting at anyone. Listen, I know people are talking about you and Audley and all that, but yeah. I'd like to see you with our heavyweights. And I don't. That's just a personal opinion of mine. Right. I just want to see you now. You're here over here, and you're honorary Brit. Yeah. yeah. You're forgetting your roots from. <laughs> Where have you A little from? bit, you know, yeah, wherever. Uh, where? Nah, don't, hey. Uh, you know, I'm from the, I'm from the USA. Love my country. Yeah. Do you know back. the national anthem, big boy? Absolutely. Go on, Absolutely. one verse. Um, one no verse. way on earth don't you sing are going to get. Just say it. Oh, uh, oh, say, can you see? Hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, by the dawn's early light. Respect to the USA yeah. national anthem. I know, I know the whole thing, but I'm not going to, you know, sing it out here because I don't want to hurt my popularity with the American people because they won't hate. They're going to sting so bad. I'm going to sing so bad that y'all won't even want me to come back. I've heard the Americans hate you anyway. That's why you come over here. That's <laughs> they, what I've heard. They, 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 That's they, what I heard. They gave me the boot. Yeah. <laughs> they like, yo, get you out. You run out. Hey, man. Especially the boxing people. They wanted me to get the heck out of there. No question. But it's all good. I'm not mad. What's going on with this with, anyway. What's going on with some of all the Harrison then? Honestly, to be honest with you, it's... Just a little bit. Uh, I think he just, you know, he just wants an opportunity to get another fight. You know, what I mean, he, he feels that, you know, he looks at a guy like myself as an easy touch. But uh, there's a lot of people before him that fought the same thing, and look what happened. <laughs> so it's just one of those things. Um, no disrespect, to Oddly, though. He's a. He's Okay, so yo, my old, <laughs> my battery died. Yo, son, you know, I understand your battery died, son. Yeah. Let's get this on, let's get this back on, son. son. Um, Let me start with New York. So, <laughs> but, um, carry on what you were saying about uh, Old Lee. Oh, I was just saying, uh, no disrespect to him. Uh, he's done some good things uh, in his career. Well, not not very many, but as far as a professional, but he had a quality amateur, uh, amateur career. He's a gold medalist. Um, very popular. He's done some done some things as a fighter, but I just think at this stage he his, his his best work is done outside the ring talking, rather than inside the ring fighting. 
Like I said, it's no disrespect, but that's just what I see. <laughs> your opinion, you're entitled to it. No question. Oh, he's a good guy. Have you met him before? I've met him. He's actually, it's funny because he had a camp. Uh, I was out there helping uh, uh, Nassim Rahman for his fight with uh, Monty Barrett some years back, and he had this, he was in the same camp. And he had one friend of mine who was a, a guy you know, I used to train with, mate, mate that I used to train with, um, by the name of Derek Bryan in his camp. So I come over every now and again because we were staying on the same place, staying in the same area. I mean, not in the same area, but in the same complex. So I come over and watch the work and everything. And he spoke. He was I mean, even if, if I seen him anywhere, 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 he was speak. Oh, what's up, Eddie? How you doing? And shake my hand and everything. I'm like, so this come out. And it was kind of funny. I'm like, why well, is oddly coming at me like this? Normally, he seems like a really upstanding, nice kind of guy. But hey, you never know. Some things uh, boxing will motivate you to do some other crazy stuff. And I think that's what he's doing, some craziness. <laughs> well, listen, it's all for the selling of the boxing. No so question. And that's why I'm not mad. That's, fa that's it's, fine. It's business. Everybody's stuff. Oldley's a good guy. Yeah, no, a good hey, guy. look. I've got I, a lot of time for Oldley. I will never, ever question that. Like I said, every time I've seen him, I've, I've spoken with him. You know what I mean? Talk with him a little bit. He's a nice, seems like a really nice dude, really cool guy. You know what I mean? And I, I mean, I, look, I, look, I charge this to the game. This is this is something that box, happens in boxing. You know what I mean? We're fighting. We're fighters, we do that. Um, so everybody's gonna have a little bit of talk every now and again. It's just a matter of backing it up, that's all. But I don't look at him as any different as I did before that, uh, before this whole situation started, so it's all good. What's your opinion of Anthony Joshua? Yeah. <sighs> Other Olympic gold medalist heavyweight. I, honestly, I see with him, I see I see some potential. I see he has a potential, he has ability. He's a, obviously a big, uh, a big, strong, well, well put together guy. You know what I mean? He knows. Uh, obviously, he's Olympic gold medalist. No matter what people, <laughs> people including myself, think of of of, of what happened and how he had, how he got the gold medal, he still has it. At the end of the day, and um, you know, the sky's the limit for him. I think now, you know what I mean. It just depends on when you put him in front of a real quality fighter. You understand what I'm saying? He's what 25, 26 years old now. I think, younger, I think it's 24. Oh, 24. 20, yeah, he's either 24 or 25. Yeah. So, uh, like I said, he has a little, he has some time left. You know, most heavyweights mature around 25 to 28, uh, and into the 30s, to be honest. So, uh, he has a lot that he can do. But when the quality steps up, we'll see what he's really made of. Right now, he's fighting guys that he should be, that he should knock out. You know, a guy, a big guy, six foot six with 18 stone or so, should be able to do. What he's doing to these guys he's facing, mm -hmm. with the ability in the background as an amateur that he has. However, now once he steps up to guys who are going in there trying to win, trying to knock him off off his feet, we'll see what happens. Okay, said seven fights, so yeah, it's, I mean, still, look, it's early. You know what I mean? That's one, but that's one thing about British British fighters that I really, I actually admire that really, because I look at a lot of guys in the states and. You know, no disrespect to my country. I mean, obviously, we got some of the best fighters in history, but you see a lot of guys have a lot of fluff early with their records. And don't get me wrong, it's not to say it's too different, you know, from over here. The only thing is I see with guys, like, like I look at Tyson's record. I mean, he fought a lot of quality British opposition on his way up. His third and fourth fight, he was fighting, you know, ten, eight to ten round fights already. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm seeing that there's a possibility with this kid as well coming up. I mean, he has seven fights already, obviously, so he's a little bit, you know, further along than, than, than uh, as far as the amount of fights than when Tyson started fighting those eight to ten round fights, but he still can, you know what I mean, he can still step it up. So, I mean, I do like that, you know what I mean, I like that you guys, <laughs> that y'all fight each other, even early. So it's like, uh, by the time, if you're undefeated and you get to say 20 something and 0, you're really undefeated. It's not like you got a whole bunch of, you but know. To be fair, there's a lack of British heavyweights. Yeah. There's not, there's not loads of them. There's yeah. enough of them. I'm not talking about quality. I'm talking about right. quantity. Yeah, yeah that's there's right. Not, that's there's right. not loads. I mean, they're even talking about putting me in with some of these. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm only laughing because the way. Why are you laughing? Listen, hey, listen. he's, he's right. I'm, you, The only you, reason I'm laughing, why laughing is because he'll kill us. <laughs> he'll kill us. That's what you see. This guy got money. He'll kill us. That's why I'm laughing. You won't even let me jab you. <laughs> Because I'm not, because I'm How smart. about I jab you while, while I hold the camera? If, if the cameraman beats me up, then what the heck am I going to do with the fighter? What? You see what I'm talking? Now I can't fight. Now I can't fight. Now I can't fight. 
Oh, uh, now I can't fight. Yeah, fight's off. <laughs> Fight is off. Look what he did right. to my arm. You see this? Right. I'm telling Peter. Hold All right, listen. No, I'm good. no problems, man. No problems. Hey, no, stop rubbing me like that, man. <laughs> Well listen, um, just a quick opinion on okay. Mike Perez and Brian Jennings oh, this yeah. weekend. Quality, see that's just, that's what I'm talking about with heavy division, that's a quality fight. Yeah. At the time it's supposed to happen, you know what I mean, it's a limited, limited type fight. And uh, honestly I like, I like, uh, I like BY, I think his boxing and uh, his athleticism and his movement will give Mike, Mike Perez a bit of problems. However, Mike Perez is good, big punching, tough, I'll be in your face all night type fighter and those guys you never know at the end of the day they, he may he may land that he may that pressure that pressure might bust the pipe but I, I just see I just see B Y being in a little bit too crafty too quick and out of the way for him to uh land any of that TNT. I've just noticed these two women coming up now they've walked past you and then they're walking past you again. Yes guys what's going on? Stop. Stop time. <laughs> yeah. oh. Stop I ain't dancing though. No, no, they did. They walk past you. Yeah. They're like, mm mm. <laughs> and then they walk past you again. And then they said, and went, yeah. <laughs> you know, they looked at me from behind and said, that like that might be cool. But then once they see my face, they said, yeah. why isn't why isn't I'm, this glowing? I'm, I'm a you know why? why? I didn't put the soul glow in there this time. I didn't have time. We were Can just you working. Just confirm out. that that doesn't exist, does it? Yeah, it does. What's the real product? Only you know. I, I mean, I created it. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot to do with the movie as well. Yeah. I was young, I was about 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 eight when I you know when I I came up with it. Great you? film, hey, great, great, great film. Coming to America. Do you know what the best thing about that film is? They never ruined it by making a sequel. Yes, although you know, hey, listen though, this is one thing I I'd would like to see it, I would love to see it, even though, but you like you said, it, it will ruin. It kind of does take away from the unless it's like a a sequel, like a Rocky situation where I mean you kind of everybody wants it to the you can't just you can't. Just leave it at that. You know what I'm but saying? You look at the actors in that film now, yeah. where they are now. Like Daryl was like Eric LaSalle. Yeah, yeah, in. yeah, yeah. Eric LaSalle. Yeah, yeah. and then he was the, in like ER and yeah, all that. ER, yeah, and then Samuel Jackson was in it for like one minute. One minute. Yeah. Yo, that just tell you how big of a star I, Eddie Murphy I, was. I tell you, one of the biggest stars. Was that? You know the fat geezer? Not you. Louis Anderson? Yeah, yeah. he was in yeah. it. He was in there. He was the dude who was doing. Big, he was watching the Lakers now, isn't he? Listen, Louis, Louis Anderson. Oh, Louis Anderson? Yeah. He had, a, he, had a, he had a cartoon life with Louis. He had, look, listen, Louis Anderson is big. Trust yeah. me. He was big, but he was bigger a, a while back than now. You know what I mean? But listen, there's so many, there were so many guys. Look, you ever heard of the movie Harlem Nights? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, it was a who's who in there. Yeah. Yeah. Shut me in my pinky toe. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, Della Reese. Oh, you got Eddie, of course, you got Eddie Murphy, Richard Pryor, Red Fox, uh, uh, yeah. Charlie Murphy, uh, Robin Harris. Oh man, I can just go on all day. Name Arsenio Hall. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Miguel, uh, what's the Miguel Nunez? He was in there. Uh, there's a not, there's, look, man. I can 10, 10, 10 years. I'll still be telling you to play the, the people that was in that movie. So I just tell you how big of a star yeah. Eddie Murphy was back then. Absolutely. <laughs> you know Trading I mean? places one, though, isn't it? <laughs> Trading places one, isn't it? God, that was seriously. Uh, yeah, that's that's that was. I mean, Those men tried to have sex with me. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no, but yeah. Hey, listen. I don't. That act was smashed listen, in that film, though. As yeah. Well. Listen, don't. Eddie Murphy's probably my favorite of all time, but guys like, like you said, Dan Aykroyd, Chevy Chase, is another one. Obviously, well, Richard Pryor, yeah, all of the black guys, clearly. But there's so many more, even all kind of comedians. I just, I'm a big, big, big movie dude. So yeah. I can, like I said, I can go on all day long telling you about movies. Man. Okay, maybe we'll do a whole episode where we discuss our films. We'll do that this week. No, I'm not. I ain't, I ain't playing too. Yeah, I got. Listen. For matter of fact, that might make me to bring some movies out because I can't remember them all. Oh, you think of them at yeah. some point this week. Listen, I don't need to. Well, cool. I'll tell you what, I'll get involved as well. You bring your top five. Top five? I'll bring my top five. How do you ain't gonna do it now? No, no, no. The top only oh, the reason why I'm gonna say this is my top five is gonna be top five one A, one B, one C, one all the way through the alphabet. Just, one, just pick five. <laughs> just, oh, just five. I'll pick five. Shit. We'll compare. We'll all call right. it Eddie Chambers, Coogan Cassius. Favorite films, or oh, we'll think of a better title. Okay, I'll tell you what, this is what we do. We got to do genre, right? We got to do like comedy, action, drama, or, 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 or all that kind of stuff. Top five. Because if, if we do, because cause I'll tell you what, top five, I could do a top five comedies are probably my top five movies, period. Or I could do top five action, which is my top five period of sports. So we got to kind of, let's just do a movie. 
top five like that. Okay. Because I got too many. Uh, okay. Too many. All right. You know sorry what I mean? to stress you out about this. Uh, hey, I'm not stressed. I'm so sorry, mate. I love right. this. Sorry, mate. I love this. I love this game. I love. I love this game. <laughs> Eddie Chambers, thanks for yes, talking sir. to IFL TV. Look, we, we, we just talk like ain't we no camera about, in front of us. Do you know what? We talked about six minutes about films. Yeah. Some people might find it boring and what? pointless. Other people... Y'all got will, whoever th thinks Make some comments. Problems. Tell me about your... Uh, go on, tell them, tell them about their favourite films below, down there. Uh, their favourite films? What yeah. do you mean? The people watching this, motherfucker. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 their favourite films? Oh, hopefully... Let me see, let me see. You really are overthinking this. Yes, I am. All I mean, you had to do was say, leave your comments on the oh, YouTube oh, oh, page. Oh, 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 yeah. Downstairs. My bill, listen, listen. Yeah. Leave your comments on the YouTube page of your favorite films, and then we'll compare notes and see if I know what you're talking about. Now, granted, now, granted, I will say this. I know tons about movies. I'm coming right now. All right, he's Eddie, coming. Your stuff, mate. Right. I know. You take I, your hands out of your shorts. You right. dirty bugger. You've been out, your hands in your shorts the whole time. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> you fucking pervert. <laughs> yo, yo. Have we got the keys? Go out that way. Right. Just out of curiosity, what's your favourite film of all time? We've yeah, just been what? talking films. The Notebook. Really? Yes. No, you wouldn't have thought that, would you? Mine is Carlito's Way. <laughs> Carlito's Way. Who's that? You were saying the Asian version. Carlito's Way. Hello, Mike. <laughs> I was, say, I was gonna say you gotta say something like Scarface yeah, for people to really believe. <laughs> really think you're tough. Thank Scarface. you, Eddie Chambers. No, no Apple TV. No Cheers.